how y'all doing? Ray Martinez, CJ Mark Graff here at iCast 2019, talking about a little bit of uh, what our boats are doing for anglers in the industry and anglers uh, all over the U.S. Uh, so I'll lead with uh, our, our boat here at the, the Pursuit. It's uh, roughly uh, 14 feet, 13.5. Uh, so a little bit shorter than 14 feet. It's a longer boat. It's our longest boat that we have. That's going to be uh, great for big water, great for lakes. Um, and if you notice, looking at all our boats, they have really wide open platforms, giving you really easy uh, placement, really easy space, not a bunch of stuff in front of you so you can place anything wherever you want. And that actually runs through all our boat models. Uh, we have the F10, which is a 10-foot boat. It's a Frontier 10. I'll let CJ talk a little bit about uh, what's here on the front of it. Up front, we got a Motor Guard XI3 uh, bound mounted trolling motor. Uh, it's got a remote we have hooked up to the seat right here. You can turn it, it's got spot locked as well. Uh, so you get to your spot, like where you're at, just click the little button and it stays in that spot for as long as you tell it to. Uh, runs about six miles an hour at full speed. Uh, we got the uh, center console mounted up with the uh, Yak Attack switchblade on a uh, ram mount. We got a Loran seating. We got 360 pinnacle seat, super comfy. Easy for turning, Easy grabbing for those turning. fish, pulling them in if you needed to. Interesting, interesting. In back here we got a uh, new canoe black pack. Uh, Easy storage this is actually where we have our uh, our battery set up for uh, the trolling motor and the uh, power pole here in the back. And then in the back we've got a power pole micro. Now in the back we have a flat transom so you can do a lot of different things in the back. I noticed you probably see this piece right here that's an extension of this transom, giving you more security, being able to clamp down as tight as you possibly can to get the best security for whatever may be in the back. Power pulls aren't cheap, don't want to lose that. I will come back over to the previous boat. Speaking about that plant transom, I wanted to show that off really quickly. Uh, you can actually pair an outboard on any of our models, and Honda is a company that we paired up with, considering they don't use a water cooling system, and it's really easy and light just to put it in and off and on any of our models. So if you had one or two or three new canoes, you could utilize it on every single one. Uh, and just talking about the propel systems that we have, Torquedo, obviously, a lot of buzz on Torquedo. Everybody knows what that is. If you don't, uh, we have one right here on the back. Just like I said, we can put a lot of different options on the back of our kayaks, giving you the ability to do anything you'd like. Um, right through the boat, this is our front. Uh, this is our newest model uh, and our smallest model. Uh, it's going to be a lot more geared towards rivers, but you can also take it to lakes. I've taken it to the lakes all over. Sam Rayburn's a huge lake in Texas. I've taken it to the, the flats in, in uh, Port Aransas. I've taken it all over Corpus. So we get a lot of places on, on a really little boat. Uh, we've got guys that have caught in uh, tarpon off of them. We've got guys that have caught uh, lots of different you know, uh, deep sea fish out of them, and they get out there and do a lot of crazy stuff that I don't do, but it's really impressive. Uh, and our last boat here is our bread and butter boat, I feel like. Uh, the most universal boat we have is the widest platform we have, and it's really what set the standard for new canoe. It's an extremely stable platform, uh, 41 inches wide at the hole, and you can basically do everything you can do in our kayak uh, in this one boat. Uh, out of the back, what you see here is a in-house design that we call the pivot drive. It's our own, very own, pedal drive system and this pedal drive system is specifically designed for new canoe boats and designed around the boat versus designing a pedal drive into the boat meaning that you can take any of our boats and put this pedal drive system on simply take it off and not have to buy a new kayak so you're not looking at multiple kayaks a pedal drive kayak or not you can take that off put it on depending on where you're going and what you're doing and if you have an older model you can still retrofit it and get it on those older models really cool design that should be coming out at the end of this year. Really cool feature here is if you were going down and hitting some shallow water, if you're out in the flats, if you're out in some rocky water, and you just happen to hit a rock, that comes right up and you're not ruining your prop or ruining your device here on the back. It just comes right back into place whenever you get back into deeper water. And up here, this cord runs through the front, which causes the propel. There's a cord here that has a, a loading spring and basically allows the movement from here to the back. And that is the new canoe uh, Frontier 12. A lot of different colors here that we're trying out, sampling colors, showing uh, customers what we have available and something that we're trying to, to give them as far as just a, a little more diversity, a little more personalization to the kayaks that they're buying today.